Some celebrities of note were in Norfolk today to support PETA. It's very cool. They renamed their Norfolk headquarters after the co-creator of The Simpsons, Sam Simon. And 13 News anchor Joe Flanagan was there. Sam Simon, the co-creator of The Simpsons, made his arrival to the PETA building in Norfolk by boat. He was here to celebrate the renaming of PETA's headquarters building in his name. He's all about animal rights. And they were not here for us to abuse anyway. They'll say, Sam Simon knew that a dog is a pig, is a rat, is a boy. Sam will do anything for animals anyone asks him to. He's opened his home for events, for benefits. He's been out on the street with us protesting the wretched circus. The Sam Simon Foundation in Los Angeles rescues dogs from shelters. And then we train them to be certified assistance dogs. Some of them are for the deaf, but some of them are also, I know there's a lot of vets here in uh, Norfolk, uh, some of them are vets uh, from uh, Iraq and Afghanistan with post-traumatic stress disorder. Helping applaud Sam Simon and endorse PETA's Ink Not Mink campaign was former New England Patriot and now New York Jet football player Brett Lockett. We decided to, to veil, unveil the Ink Not Mink campaign and um, it's, it's been a huge hit. Sam told the enthusiastic crowd that he's battling cancer, but wanted to be here for this honor. His ex-wife, actress Jennifer Tilly, still supports all he does and what PETA does in the name of animal rights. People need to be educated, and I think that Sam loves animals so deeply, and um, it's just like they're educating people one person at a time, and I think it's amazing work that they do. And Sam Simon told me he hopes his name and even his face on the PETA building just down the street from here might serve to inspire those entering to work a little bit harder. For animals. Reporting live, Joe Flanagan, 13 News.